So have I ever considered quitting social media? Yes, absolutely have considered it because it takes up so much of your time every day. And you know, the only reason why I don't quit social media is because that is actually my career as well. You know, we do post on TikTok, we post on Instagram, but my full-time job is not being an influencer or anything like that. I would never even consider us influencers. My full-time job is actually a social media director for a nonprofit. So if I do end up quitting social media, I pretty much quit my job and I can't do that <laughs> because we need to continue to make money and support our family. Um, if I could know one thing about my future, it would, I don't know, that's a tough one. So I was thinking when I started to answer this question that it was gonna be about my health. I would wanna know about my health because I do have some health issues. But now that I think about it, if I would like to know one thing about my future, it would be, hmm, if I will poop in a bag. I know that sounds disgusting, but I have Crohn's disease and I had a um, Ostomy bag for a little bit. I just want to know if it's coming back. Do I have to be ready? Um, you know, stuff like that. That would probably be it. That's probably the only one. That's probably the only one. If I can take control of one person's Instagram, who would it be? I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be Dwayne Neuron Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Let me tell you why. So when I was getting married many years ago, I'm not sure how many years ago at this point, six, seven, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember, whatever, we're still happily married, that's all that matters. So when I was getting married, um, I was in the military, all of, you know, whoever I wanted to be, my best man was gone, all of my groomsmen were deployed or overseas, and I didn't want to bother any of them, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my shot. I sent Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, a DM on Instagram, asking for him to be my best man. I even said, you know what? I will pay for your trip over here. You don't even you don't even have to buy your plane ticket. And you guys wanna know what happened? This was this was young Grant. I probably had 150 followers on Instagram. You know what happened? He left me on red. So I take over his Instagram. I would try to find that DM and just reply to myself and be like, hey man, I'm sorry I missed it. Then I, you know, the next day when we come back, I take a screenshot of that and just, you know, it would be closure for me. Because after that, when you left me on red, it just, it just wasn't closure. I just want some closure. Dwayne Rock Johnson, if you see this, you know, uh, I'm, it's like, it's like a hole in my heart that, that will never, that has not been filled has been filled. You did that. That was you. You did that. If I had one meal for the rest of my life, what would it be? Absolutely hands down Korean barbecue. There's so many different things that you could eat. You know, you, you, you could, there are all the different meats and different types of seafood and different types of sides and soups. There, I can't even imagine the combinations. I think, I, I don't know, how to, how to, how to do prop, prop, probability. What is it like if there's if there's four different options the combinations i don't even know it's like four times three is 12 times two is 24 you know times what well, what there's 24 different ways that you could swap things that's just four korean barbecue there's like 50 different things on the menu. So imagine 50 times 49 times 48 times 47. If my seventh grade teacher watches this, I'm sorry I didn't really pay attention during that portion, but I think that's how it goes. There's just so many different combinations of food that you could have. It's Korean barbecue, hands down, hands down, Korean barbecue. That's, that's, that's the end of that. What advice would I give to my past self? That's a tough question. What advice would I give to my past self? I would probably say buy bigger pants. I'm a very tall person. I, I, mean, I mean, compared to other tall people, I'm not that tall, but I would always wear these pants that like cut off at my ankle and they're super short. That's dumb, let's not include that one. I don't know. What advice would I give to my past self? Hmm. 
don't stress. Yeah, don't freak out about the little things. Let the little things go. I mean, I'm 31 years old. Look at all the gray hair I have. You know? You let, where's that movie from? You let the little fish go to catch the big fish later. Let the little stuff go. Don't stress about the little stuff. That's the advice I would give to myself. By the way, I just remembered that was from Blue Streak. That, what I just said, you let the little fish go to catch the big fish later. That was from Blue Streak. Anyway, that's, that, 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 whatever. So my favorite birthday memory, I grew up in Staten Island, New York and never had a birthday party. We did not have money growing up to even consider a birthday party. I don't know what this was, but for some reason my family decided, you know what, this is the year. We are gonna throw you a surprise birthday party. So they kept it quiet. They sent me to my friend's house. I was hanging out with him. And then, you know, I wanted to come home early. So I came home and my grandpa opened up the door and he was like, oh, you can't go to the backyard. There's a surprise birthday party for you back there. Completely ruined the whole birthday party for me or the surprise portion of it. Not the whole birthday party, it was amazing. We had like Star Wars theme going on. There were like Star Wars paper cups and Star Wars plates. Then they brought one of those, you know, like the cars that pull up to your birthday party where there's like the attraction. And this one was the swinging boat thing that probably hasn't been serviced since it was put on the back of that car and it was super unsafe. And as you were rocking, the wheels of the SUV were coming off the ground. Best birthday party ever. Not upset about my grandpa ruining the surprise. That was a surprise him telling me that it was gonna be a surprise. How about that? If I could have a superpower, mm, I'd say flying. I would fly. That would be sick. I would save on plane tickets. I would never fly it like, I would never get on a plane again. If I could just effortlessly fly somewhere, I'd save on plane tickets. I'd grab, you know, my wife, Liam, Eliana, grab them all. Cause if I could fly, I'm just naturally thinking that I'm gonna be, you know, like pretty strong. And depending on how fast I could fly, grab them, fly down to Miami, take a little vacation. I would fly, absolutely. What is my goal three years from today? So, being a dad and having a family and being a husband, finances are always on my mind. And continuing to be able to support our family and making sure that they have a roof over their head and making sure that, you know, they're going to good schools and making sure that they have all the things that the kids want. Um, my goal is to be able to provide for my family financially even more than, you know, I am now. That's gonna be the biggest one for me all the time. Whether, you know, we open up our own business or whatever, how about that? So favorite video that I've ever posted um, has to be the Grinch video. It is also our most viral video. It's at, I wanna say like 120 million views. We're probably the most hated parents in the world after that video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, pretty much, you know, we tell the kids, Hey, go by the fireplace, it's Christmas time. Go by the fireplace, we're gonna take a picture of you. And then I run into the house in a Grinch costume and I steal the stockings and I swing it at them. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. And, um, uh, you know, the kids didn't while the Grinch was there, but then they thought it was funny afterward. So I would say that that's their favorite one too. Would you see social media as your long-term career path? Yes. So in the influencer space, you know, I always feel like there will come a time where people just don't want to see me or, you know, our family. And that's cool. That happens. You know, as you're moving up, someone is always right behind you. That's one thing that I learned uh, a long time ago. But with, on my personal side, like as a career, like I said, I do marketing and social media as, you know, in the private sector, I guess you'd call it. I work for a nonprofit right now. My wife is a social media strategist for an advertising company. So for us personally, yes, social media for the long run, marketing, communications, things like that, staying on trends. Influencer, 
like I said, eventually someone's gonna be tired of seeing me. And you know, if the kids wanna continue it, they can continue it. If not, that'll be it. We'll sell the account. Who wants to buy the account? Give me a price. What's the offer? Someone wanna buy it? Let me know. Let me know. Yes. What accomplishments are you most proud of? Our children. Our children are our biggest accomplishments. They are a pain in the ass, but they're amazing and we love them. Anyway, my biggest accomplishment, uh, I would say would be my 13 years of service in the Navy. I did a lot of amazing things, everything from counterparticing, counter narcotic boardings to translating to, I don't even know, we did so much stuff. And, you know, while I was in, I was able to complete my bachelor's degree and completed my MBA. So it was a very accomplishing 13 years, if that's a real word. I don't know if that's a real word or a real saying. English was also my second language. So if it's not, uh, don't make fun of me too bad. So my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. And let me tell you why. When we came to the United States, we came to the United States in October, of 1993, I believe, from the Soviet Union. And, you know, that first year was kind of like, what are we doing in this brand new country? We don't know how to speak the language. Like, what's McDonald's, right? But the second year, first, my mom and my sister um, and myself and my uncle, we came to the United States. That next year, my grandparents came to the United States and my grandma, fresh out of the Soviet Union, was like, we have to celebrate most popular American holiday. And, you know, again, we have no idea what most popular American holiday is. Thanksgiving. Or she she couldn't pronounce the TH, so it's Thanksgiving. So, 1994 was our big Thanksgiving celebration. And, you know, after that, it just stuck that, like, hey, every Thanksgiving, we go, we go big. Turkey, duck, mashed potatoes, gravy, a little bit of the American style Thanksgiving, a little bit of the Russian style, a little bit of who knows what, you know, whoever comes over, throws stuff in. Thanksgiving, favorite holiday, that's all.